What's up, y'all? My name is Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle, and we are a married couple. On this channel, we share explicit story times, product reviews, and we overall like to have a good-ass time. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, make sure you click that subscribe button. Okay, y'all, so today we're going to be answering a question from a subscriber. This is from Sade Bradford. What's up, Sade? She said, Carla and... Oh, so Carla and Nick Rochelle, can you guys do a Q&A with your subscribers? I'm actually speaking for myself. All my life, I have been a straight woman. But when I was in high school, I've always been attracted to studs. But I was... But I was so scared to approach a woman. I mean, they would stare, but that's it. Now I'm a grown woman. That feeling has never changed, baby. And I'm interested in dating a woman. How do I go about this? Hmm. So we're going to break this comment down. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, while we're at it, if you have any questions uh, of anything or want any advice then definitely leave it in the comment section because we love having videos like this where we answer your questions and kind of work through uh, your thoughts and our thoughts as well yes so I guess um, when we read this question we kind of started having a conversation yeah we was brainstorming yeah we yeah. were brainstorming um, okay so I think one question you had was well how do you normally get boyfriends yeah like how how do you that is a good question and matter of fact Shade, if you answer your questions that we ask you we'll pin it at the top of the comment section so other people can see your answers but our first question is like how do you get boyfriends yeah so when Nick I think when she first brought that one up I was like well probably the guys probably approached her all the time because usually sometimes guys like to approach females. So I don't know if you normally, you know, like to be approached or if you do the approaching. Yeah, and I guess that could <laughs> kind of be uh, a little area of problem when it comes to women. If you are the one who like to be approached. Because you're still going to, if you're dealing with lesbian women, you're still going to have to give us some type of sign or clue that you're interested. But it's like, wouldn't she do that with men too? Yes. But I guess it's different because, you know, me and okay. baby like, hey, little mama. So, but this is my question. You said that you've had times that a female have looked at you, like a stud has looked at you. So What happened next? Yeah, what happened? Like, what was your body language like? Did she look at you? Did you look off like, I ain't interested? Uh, did you look back? Did you get like the little flirty eye like... Because I'm going to tell you now, baby, girl, if I look at a woman and she give me a little like, Get that dyke? What's she looking at? Hey, you best believe I'm gone. Like, okay, but what if she don't even look like that? Like, say for instance, you look at me and I just look away. Then I'd be like, oh, she might not be interested. Right. She, it's good. like she could just do a standard, like, look away. Right. But that could be her. She could be awkward as hell and don't know how to give a look. Like, are you giving the uh, eye? What, 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 what you did to me, babe? I did not do that to you. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why she's so full of herself. That's not even in my personality. I don't even do that. Well, maybe it was all in my little head, honey. <laughs> all right, so I know for me, the females that I have talked to, not that I have talked to a lot of females, only three, right? But um, I'm the third one? Yes. Dang, I locked that down quick, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and I only slept with two. But she got plenty with the men, honey. So next, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Don't do me, boo boo. So either way, I know for me, the very first female that I talked to, it was kind of like we end up becoming friends. That's basically what happened. It was no flirt or anything. We became friends, and it was because of the position that I had um, at my job. I was a, a team leader and this particular female used to have to ask questions like all of the agents on the phone if they needed help they would have to find a team leader. yeah it's something so sexy about talking to somebody that's you know an authority figure yeah. so she would come over and um ask me questions and i would just do stuff like did you try to look it up first because I'm that type of person, I'm not going to help you if you didn't try to help yourself. But the one thing that I do know about me, a lot of people like me because I have a spicy personality. 
And she even admitted herself. Like, every time I come over, you used to have a little attitude. And people used to be like, oh, she a bitch. And she was like, no, she ain't really a bitch. She was like, she just want to make sure that you check yourself first. So she said she actually liked that about me. So it would make her come over because she was like, I'm finna soften her ass up. Like, I believe she really got a good personality. And I do. So that's really, it was like we became friends. So I think a lot of times with females, and I think even with Nick, because like I said, when I first met her, I was attracted to her when I, y'all, when I first laid eyes on the girl, I was like, oh, yes, baby girl. And she was looking at me like, and I was like, yes, you. I'm I at told you. y'all, she was like, <laughs> no. I told y'all, listen, That's y'all, not, y'all <laughs> proof. Y'all, first off, I'm a team leader, and we were on the production floor. No, we were not. We yes, were in the we break were. room. No. You was one with a no, girl no, no, that no, one no, the very first time I saw you, you were work, walking down oh, the middle. The, I'm not with the finger No, biting no, her. I didn't bite my finger, but no. So the very first time I saw her, I definitely was giving her the eyes. Like, I was like, who is this? This Sagittarius came and snatched my ass up. And, and she looked at me like, because she walking down the call center, and she looking at me like, is she looking at me? And she looked away. And then it's like she was walking and she looked back like, oh my gosh, she looking at me. And I'm like, yep, I'm looking at you. And, <laughs> okay, and let me see. The way I usually get my girls, um, well, I used to get my girls. How did I do it? Um, well, first and foremost, it's two different things about me. So if I'm heavily like flirting with you, like, and I'm treating you very sexual, nine times out of ten, I really only want sex. And that was just that was in my young days, the younger days. Mm-hmm. I, if I'm really like, if if I see you're kind of like flirting back, it, I'll come through flirting. That's what I would do. And if I see you flirting back, I only, I only want sex. But as far as if I'm serious about you, what I would do is just try to have like just genuine conversations. I would just try to show that I'm interested in having a conversation with you. Like, you know, how was your day today? Or, you know, what what is it that you like to do? So I think that's one thing you can do. If you're interested in her, or if you see somebody you're interested in, just go and have those conversations with them, period. You know what I'm saying? Right. I, I don't know because, <laughs> yeah, it's like with me, Sometimes I will approach people and sometimes I won't. I don't know why I was really attracted to Nick when I first saw Nick. It was just like, it was like she was like that star in my eye when I first saw her. And, um, but sometimes I won't approach people though. But if you're in a, it depends on the situation that you're in. It's like, do you have gay friends too? Because sometimes your gay friends, they can be a link for you, um, linking up with somebody. I know, well, the people my gay friends tried to link me up with, I I wasn't interested. (laughs) But they can still, because like what I did with Nick, before I even approached her, I sent this guy to find out if she had a girl. Yeah, I I am such a woman. Like, I do not (laughs) like other people trying to holler at me through other people. Yeah. So that, I didn't know, I still didn't, I didn't know that it was for Carla. I just knew it was for somebody, because somebody else had did me like that at the job. She sent some dude over there to talk to me and say, hey, my friend, interested. I don't give a... But I didn't do that. I didn't say let her know I'm interested. This is what I told him. I said, I need you to find out if she have a girlfriend. I said, if she have a girlfriend, cool. Well, I'm going to tell you now, the way he did it, he did it just like the other dudes. Like, hey, you know, my girl, she want to holler at you. Yeah, damn, no, he, he didn't. Say Babe, I I'm- wasn't even his friend. So he couldn't have said my girl, well, my no, friend. He, he let me know somebody wanted to holler at me. They was interested in me. It's like the way he did it, he but might have not no, executed. Because he came back and told me you had a girlfriend. Yeah, I know that. But I told him if you had a girlfriend, just let me know. Well, he didn't follow suit the way you did it. Well, the girl, way he maybe did. he was asking for somebody else. Because I, didn't, I had actually told him. I said, if she have a girlfriend, I said, don't even worry about it. I said, but if she don't have a girlfriend, let me know. Because I don't need nobody else to do my work. If I want you, I'm going to approach you. So that's why I told him to let me know. I ain't need him to do it for me. I just need to know if you had a girlfriend. But once I found out you had a girlfriend, I ain't even I ain't even try to talk to you after yeah. that. Yeah, because we're not engaged. I was actually engaged. So we actually, while we were brainstorming, we were kind of trying to come up with 
signals that women may give to let you know that they're interested in you or signals that you can give to her to let you know that you're interested and i came up with three and if you and if y'all who are watching have any more comment below so she can so we can help out y'all we can help shot out the first one was like i said just initiating conversation with her like just going over there and having conversation and heterosexuals may do it the same way i don't know because i don't have a lot of experience with heterosexual dating but um you just go and you just have a conversation and you get to know them and a lot of times what happens when like say if a girl come and initiate a conversation with me something is gonna happen where she comes up and say oh yeah my ex she used to do this or my ex she they let me know in some kind of way that she has talked to women or she's been you know with a woman before so yeah, that that has always happened to me. She come and she have a casual conversation, and she mentioned that. And then the next thing is, um, which you gotta kind of be careful with this one, but you do want to like if you're really interested, you you say something cute and you look her in her eye. Like it's the way you look at her. <laughs> yes, baby girl. <laughs> yeah. Yes. So yeah, so you if you if you feeling her, y'all having a good conversation, you may and this is I guess the third one is you may get a little playful in your flirts. You may say something like, "What you talking about?" Something like that. I don't know. And then I'll be like, "Yeah, I really want it for real." Yeah, say something <laughs> like that. And boy, when I tell you, the butterflies go straight down to my cootie cat and yeah. When you say something like that, what you say, baby? Yeah, I really want it for real. Yes, I do, baby. Gay. <laughs> and when y'all have that moment, it's like, and then the, the next question is, how does it usually transition from that little playful, flirty mode to like something serious? Um, I don't know, cause I think with us, I think I was, I would, was we messaging in the little chat? I yeah. think that's what happened with us. Well, we already kind of knew that it was about to go down. Well, I knew. <laughs> Yeah, cause I was like, no, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, so what I do to transition from, uh, like, that little play flirty stage is I try to find a way to ha get, get us a one-on-one. -on -one. I'd be like, so, uh, did you want to go out and catch dinner? Or Yeah, that's you wanna, usually it. Yeah, you end you, up going or, out are or you, trying to hang out yeah, somewhere. Do you really want to retwist my hair? Now, I thought that she knew that when she retwisted my hair that it was going to be a 180 spin, but... I guess you you didn't know that them white jeans that you had on that day was gonna go down. This is gonna be a. Mm, you remember what jeans? You had, had. white jeans on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Well, you sure was ready. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then another thing that we were that I was kind of asking while we were brainstorming is, do you think that it's easier to date women as an adult? Like, do you think it's easier to find that woman to, I don't know, to holler at? No, I don't think so. I think it just depends on um, your maturity and their maturity. Yeah. Because I know the first person I talk to, <laughs> baby, no, and, and that's something else, Sade. If you're going to talk to a female, you need to make sure that that person is genuine. Because one thing about females, it's like you can get so intimate with them and because y'all are y'all become friends it's easy for two females to become friends it's easy and if to... that person don't have good intentions yeah you can get your heart broken that's what happened to me yeah it's definitely gonna have to be a story time yeah uh, eventually but yeah like when you have that connection with a woman it's it just something happened that's why i think that's why a lot of times you have what they call the u-haul lesbians where lesbians end up moving in real quick and having babies real quick it's because the connection you have is so overwhelmingly deep yeah. and so overwhelmingly fast that you think that it's the love of your life but you still have to give yourself time to get to know that woman and make sure y'all both are on the same page because if she an evil witch, she will fuck you over. Excuse yeah. my language. Yeah. Um, but uh, some ways to meet a woman, I guess now, especially since you're an adult, is um, definitely going to be, say, the, the number one spot for, I think, is at work. Like, if you're, if, say, for example, with coronavirus going on, but, like, if you got a job and you go in, a lot of times you may see a woman or whatever, and you may have a connection with them there. Um, another one I would say is I would say social media. Social media, because nowadays you can like 
Send somebody a little Slide message in the up DM. in the Insta. Yeah. So, yeah, you can send a little message. That's the like that's how the, a, a lot of the easy approach. That's how a lot of the younger generation uh, they hook up now. Anyways, or text. Yeah, yeah. They but it, but if she may be old school, she may not like doing it. If I don't, I personally don't like meeting off of social media because I just think someone can really portray themselves at a certain as a certain way online, and you meet them in person, and it's not that you know yeah. that has happened to me. Um, I I don't I didn't date often on uh, websites, but. One girl I did meet, it didn't end well. Um, and her nails, her fingernails was dirty. But anyways, another one is, like Carla said, gay friends. Like, if you have gay friends, you can just, you know, let them know that you're interested in ho- hollering at one. Or if you got some friends, like, let's hang out. Because that's how you met old girl, through, like, hanging around. Well, no, that was at work. But you mm-hmm. still hung around, like, gay friends. Yeah. Um, And then you can go to bars if, if you're interested in that type of thing. Me, I don't like bars. I don't like meeting girls at bars. If I meet somebody at bars, it's very sexual. And then last but not least, I guess, like, dating sites. You know, you go to a lesbian dating site and just get to know some. You had met one of them and you was talking to her for a minute, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know if it was a dating site. Uh... But y'all would just remember. y'all had really good conversation, you we know. Did. Never turned into anything, but yeah. All right, so I hope we were able to answer your question. Um, remember, if y'all have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below. Make sure y'all like the video and make sure that you share this video as well. Yeah. All right, y'all. We'll see y'all next time. Peace. Peace.